The unfolding tragedy in the east of Ukraine, Kiev's crackdown is claiming the lives of more civilians. She would be 30 in August. Despicable people. Switch off the camera. My daughter said, look, they started shelling. I told her to get into the basement immediately. She grabbed her son, turned around, and that's when the shell hit. She was no more. The scenes here are from the eastern Ukrainian city of Slavyansk. This is what it looks like after weeks of artillery and airstrikes. Ukrainian troops are targeting what they say are terrorists, but their latest victims were anything but, as RT's Roman Kostrev reports. One family lost two members as a result of mortar fire. The shell landed right in the backyard of a private residence. A woman scrambled to get her son as soon as she heard explosions. And once she picked him up, she was killed instantly, while the five-year-old boy received multiple head wounds and was rushed to the hospital. However, the doctor was unable to save the child's life, and the boy died during an operation. The doctors worked all night trying to remove 30 shell fragments from his head. Uh, his father said that the shelling was conducted uh, from a location known as the base of Ukrainian forces. Now, elsewhere, another Orthodox church came under fire in Lugansk area. It was partially destroyed, and the shell killed its caretaker, too. Now, the shelling continues despite President Poroshenko's promised ceasefire under his new peace plan. The 14-point proposal to end the violence in the East was discussed with Vladimir Putin as well. It was the second time the two leaders have talked over the phone about Ukraine's crisis in a week, and President Putin has once again stressed the ceasefire must be implemented implemented in the regions. Once prosperous cities in eastern Ukraine are little more than ghost towns now. Tens of thousands have fled the affected areas. Those who remain suffer from water, food and power shortages. There are large queues forming on the border with Russia as people hurry to take their children to safety. It's very scary to see flying planes. Any time I saw them, I ran to my mommy and daddy. And tanks are also very scary. They fired gunshots at us and shelled us. We hid next to a couch in the basement. We were very scared. It's a battlefield there, constant fire. My parents hide in the basement. We're thankful to have escaped because we wouldn't have lasted long. I don't understand why they're doing this. We've lost everything. When radicals came into my city and started shooting people, we had to leave. The scariest part was when armed men came to our house, asking about our landlord. A few days later, my son told me that they shot the landlord.